Hey there, cats and kitties, and I'm the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is going to be a brief little review for Green Lantern, the animated series, episode 4, Into the Abyss. Now, I was finally able to catch this episode thanks to a friend of mine on Facebook. You know who you are. Thank you very much. And I thought some of the themes in this episode were interesting, though, after having seen some of the ones that followed it, it was probably about average, but it was still pretty good. Um, basically, how the ship is flying along, and we find out just how tense the relationship between Kilowog and Razor is, as they're pretty much at each other's throats um in a somewhat comedic scene you know hal has to break them up and uh basically he's like shake your hands and they're you know like that of course they're aliens they have no idea what shaking hands is so this is all sort of uh, interrupted by a distress call this ship the captain's calling because uh he's basically stuck in the event horizon of a pinhole which is essentially i guess sort of a small black hole although it turns out to be still pretty big um and uh you know as hal describes to aya it's the green lantern's job to put their lives on the line to save the lives of others if they can and uh, this is a theme that pays off toward the end so they go up to the ship you know basically throw a tractor beam on it doesn't work they have to get out and do it manually at first, Hal teams up Razor and Kilowog, and a couple of things happen where Kilowog thinks Razor's taking cheap shots at him, trying to kill him. And uh, this is going to play through the whole episode, basically, you, you feel at this point. But um, at some point, Kilowog has to go outside and use constructs to hold the ship in place because it's being pulled in, even, you know, w with the tractor beams and everything. And uh, basically, Razor and Hal figure out that they have to get to one of the engines, get it running again. And part of the cargo or the entire cargo of the ship are these hatchlings of this you know soon to be extinct race of aliens that are soon to hatch and they think they are hatching and they're essentially you know these aliens what they think are the aliens are sabotaging the ship by you know cutting wires and doing things like that well it turns out halfway through the episode you know aya has gone missing and nobody seems to put two and two together that this could be related somehow as we find out you know basically they see these sort of little technology looking aliens crawling around this is actually Aya um, using the bits and pieces that would eventually in later episodes become her you know humanoid construct form and uh, she goes in she does what needs to be done with the engines at some point Kilowog's energy is almost all the way tapped out and he starts tumbling into the abyss as you know the title suggests and it's left to Razor to sort of uncharacteristically you're thinking save him and so by the end of the episode of course they save the aliens they save the captain and the ship and uh, we see that the tense relationship between Kilowog and Razor is somewhat lessened maybe not you know completely wiped out but it's an interesting turn of events and of course we have the reveal of Aya in her humanoid form which is pretty cool so uh, I did really enjoy the episode I was glad to finally see it and um, yeah it was awesome so that's pretty much all I have to say on it and I'll catch you all later peace